Oh, you guys, my video timed out. Isn't that interesting? I'm doing Dana Play-Doh and it timed out. Hmm, I might need to make some storage on my phone here because I'm using my phone to record today. It seems as though with Dana, we're talking to Dana Plato, who you might recognize as Kimberly Drummond from the TV show Different Strokes back in the 80s. She's talking about her experiences in the afterlife when she first arrived. Let's, let's ask the next question. How is being there, how is being there? Are you finally with your son? Oh. So did you, so Kimberly, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry I keep calling you Kimberly, but that's how I know her. Dana, that's how I know you. Um, how is being with your son? Are you with your son? I guess your son is in the afterlife, yes. Yes, but it's different. And then I see like a name, an end name, like I don't know if it's Nicholas or um, somebody else, Nick, and I see. Um, I don't know if that's somebody that's with her in the afterlife that she's mentioning, or if it's somebody that was here. Um, she's talking about her sister and her mom and how they were heartbroken or somebody, something about heart being heartbroken about her death. She said, I never really got over the loss of my son. Was he like an infant, a sudden infant thing? I feel like she got pregnant and it was a surprise being pregnant. I, I can't see her married. So if she was married, she must have been a single mom at some point. And looks like there was two kids though. There's more than one. So I don't know if there was a, a loss of a child or Another, like a miscarriage? I don't understand that. Okay, so let's see. There's a lot of guilt around her son. It's overwhelming, it's overwhelming, she says, it's overwhelming. I wonder if she was on some kind of medication or taking drugs or something at the time that her son died because it feels like she blames herself. And then I see like jail time or something. Like was somebody in jail that she was with or around or did she get arrested or something at some point? You guys put that in the comments below because she's showing me all this and it's like chaotic. It's like flickers of things, almost like I'm watching a movie and I just see parts, bits and pieces and it's just, it's all mixed up like a puzzle that comes through. Um, it's disorienting is what I'm going to say. So are you, are you reincarnated? This is another question. No. There's a pause there. Not ready, that's what she says. How is the way that you would like to be remembered on earth? How would you like to be remembered on earth? For doing the best that I could, she says. I did the best that I could. I don't want to make excuses or blame other people, but it, there is a lot of, there's a lot at stake when you're um, famous and there's a lot of um, scrutiny that you're under, a lot of judgment, a lot of criticism. And it's not fair how much pressure is It comes with so much. There's such a cost to it. And she's talking about other roles, other movie roles. I look like, it looks like she was a bad girl in a movie, like a bad, like she's a bad girl or something in one of the movies that she was in. But getting regular work and being kind of stuck, she's kind of showing me being stuck on TV. Like maybe she wanted to be in movies more is what it feels like. I did the best I could, she says. I want to be remembered for, for doing the best that I could. I don't really know that I want to be remembered. That's what she says. Like maybe just being a, a regular person having a normal life would have been a better way for me to, to live, but 
like I see all sorts of stuff, you guys. Like, I don't, I can't tell if she's showing me different movies that she's been in or her life, because it's all just disorienting and not, it's fragmented. Ah, okay, so here's a good question. Here's the final question here in our conversation with Dana Plato. Could you tell the audience or advise your thoughts about depression? And then she says, thank you, or he says, thank you. So you did suffer from depression. It's almost like she's neurotic a little bit though, like that, like her head is like, like you take pills to like make you feel like get you up and make you feel energy energy wise and then it fights against this like inside this current inside that drags you down she said so it's it's this constant fight she said it's constant fight you need to be up and you need to be focused you need to be present but the, but then there's an energy like dragging down she said it feels like being underwater it feels like you're drowning but you can't die it's it's awful it's horrible it's i wouldn't wish it on anyone It's not something that was understood or acknowledged or diagnosed even. It wasn't even, it was considered just like a problem, like you were damaged, you know? If you, if you had something, you couldn't keep your, yourself together. It's unexplainable. It's, it's a feeling of just empty. I don't really know that I'd have advice on dealing with depression. Maybe to ask for help sooner. Don't let it get so bad that you want to take your own life. I wonder if she committed suicide. I can't tell. It looks like an overdose or something or medication and she's not well. So the being not being well might not be not physically well, it might be depression not well. She says, now you're getting closer. Now you got it. She says, it, it doesn't really matter what, what I did or didn't do, what I chose, the path that I chose. What matters is that you have your own choice to make. People have their own choices. And when, you, when you're in a state of depression, it's hard to remember that. I would like, if, if I could give advice, I would share that you, to remember even when you're feeling just so awful that you have choices and that you're not don't be afraid to be a burden on other people you know call your friends call your family reach out you know call a hotline call a stranger whatever you need to do to remind yourself that you have life and that you're worth you're worth <laughs> you're worth it Just remember that you have, you have a choice and that you chose to be here. You chose to have a life. And it really is important not to take that for granted. Then all of a sudden I see the name Jacob. I don't know if that means anything, you guys. Thank you, Dana, for showing up here. So I wanna be real clear, have you healed? Very calming energy. She, says, she said there's much more peace now, but it took time. It was really difficult to understand, to understand death, that life was just over and to let go of what could have been for my life. It, it, took, it took me some time to really understand and accept being a spirit just just a spirit which it sounds i don't mean it to sound like that it, it sounds when i say it like that it doesn't sound how it is but there's much more peace but but then i look back and i i feel as though i mean i could have had more time i could have had a better life i could have made a difference i could have helped other people i could have done more I did the best I could. I, I don't, I'm not angry with myself, but I know that I wasted my life. 
I wasted some of the time that I was gifted. And that's something that I, I continue to heal on. So before I would come back, I would want to make sure that I felt very whole as a spirit first. And that's a process. That is a process. As you say, healing, you know, healing, it, it is a process. It is. At least for me, that's how it's been. It's, it's different for everyone, I think. But for me, that's how it's been. Well, thank you so much, Dana. I appreciate your time. And I'm sure here, the viewers at Above Life Channel will also appreciate the energy and the insight that you're bringing forward, especially the awareness about depression. Much appreciated. Thank you to our viewer from Mexico who submitted these questions on the You Choose the Channel video. If you have somebody that you'd like to recommend that I channel from the afterlife, provide that person's name, five questions, put your name and where you're from so that I can acknowledge you on the video and put it on the You Choose the Channel video here at Above Life Channel. I hope that we have been able to inspire your spirit a bit today with a connection from the afterlife, filled you with some hope some insight and encouragement to live your life. It's your life after all. So live it. Just live it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to Above Life channel on YouTube so you never miss a weekly channeling video.